morning viewers uh, I'm just waiting for my breakfast at Morrison's and then I'm taking Badger out to me half decent land um, I thought I'd get a quick shower and nip out for a brekkie while Buster was asleep but he woke up while I was in the shower and did a big crap all over the kitchen pets and then more breaking news, it looks like Jordan Button has finally got himself a girlfriend. Happy days, I was getting a bit worried about him. Look, she's even sporting one of Sean's stickers. Hey Steve, can't you just pack it in with that camera? Alright, yeah, Jordan's got a bed and she's wearing my sticker. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit here for a bit and uh, take in the view. You switch that camera off and uh, just leave us alone, why don't you? More breaking news. It seems there's going to be a half hour wait for breakfast this morning. And Badge is meeting me in 20 minutes. So I've just messaged him to tell, tell him to hang fire while I wait for this uh, brekkie. I don't know. Let's hope this, this breakfast brings me luck. I'll have to hurry up and go meet Badger. Right viewers, well I left the cat for one minute this morning, she stole his tablets again out of his food and he's not eating it. I have to get him to eat some in about an hour or so. We've got another uh, hairy animal with us today, <laughs> this is Badger. Uh, what t-shirt you got on today Badge? Joan Allen today. Joan Allen, top top metal detecting shop. There you go kids, there you go. And the plan is... Hopefully we'll get something gold for Badger today or older than what he's had up to now. So wish us luck viewers. Gonna give this uh, largest of the pastures up here uh, a good go today. I haven't really had a go on it. That was where the cut quarter come up. Some other medieval bits. Way up in the distance there in the other field where the swimming pool's being dug out was where they got that nice Saxon thing. I'm just not going on there while I've got Buster because it's all exposed there and it's hard. I'll leave him in the house one day and come up and give that Saxon area a right good going in both fields where some of the spoil's been tucked to as well. Just found uh, my first real target of any note, been going about 40 minutes. Just a squashed thimble but at least it's uh, a relic. A bit slow for uh, me and... Uh old badgie today here yeah, i've just got a musket balls we've had there's a few bits of lead and trash and uh, a few buttons but knowing the good finds that i have had already off here you can't never give up on good fields like that so we'll carry on viewers buster's uh, not up for it today at all well views it really has been hard going up to now but uh, I appear to have a little watch winder in the hole. It's not gold like the one I give away as a prize the other day, but I'm happy. I'm happy with it. And maybe one day I will dig another gold one. Yeah, just a straightforward little run of the mill watch finder. But I'm happy on a slow day. You start getting the odd little find that perks you up a bit, doesn't it? Well, we haven't been having much luck on the pasture up here. So we've come back on that uh, bit of exposed ground, the overburden from the pool. Um, my first target on this is a bowl of a spoon. And you, can, you can age spoons and forks from the tang, that broken bit, and that looks fairly, fairly early, that one. Badger's just had a bowl of a silver spoon off the pasture as well, as is definitely silver. I've got a signal, viewers. I've got a signal in this, what looks like ash. I don't think this is clay. It might be the clay, actually. Can you see there where my pinpointer was? And I was slapping it all around with my pinpointer. Next me minute, I've looked down and it's so covered in ash. It's obviously a ring, but... Is it something ancient? Is it cool? We don't know what it is. I'll just shot a badger over. I think that's got a stone in it. I think it might only be a poor man's again. 
Well, it's worth a wash off. It's still a cool looking ring, isn't it, Budge? Nice. On a slow day, we'll take these two rings, even if they do turn out to be paupers. So I'll give it a bit of a wash. The camera won't turn off, kids. The camera won't turn off. There you go, viewers. Pretty sure it's got no precious metal in it. Best case scenario, it's very burnt silver, but even that, I doubt. But not far away from where Badger got his lady's poor person's ring. But whether they're the same era or not, or just a coincidence that two rings come out. Who knows, but another interesting relic, kids. Another interesting relic of a life lived and gone. The stories they could tell, just because they're not gold, the stories still deserve to be told. I bet you there is a lovely story behind that ring. Right, it's it's half past three viewers and we've come on to uh, the la landowner's father's field again. But un unfortunately, Badger's got to go home and help uh, the lovely Lucy cook a cordon bleu meal for us all, haven't you, mate? Yeah. And I'll catch up with you later after I've had a pint at the fleece. We're having a good lamb shank. That's no euphemism. That's no euphemism. It'll be very nice for we'll a show the viewers, won't we, Bunt? All right, Bards, well, it's nice to get you out for a couple of hours. It's been lovely, mate. Thank you. Got your first ring, mate. First ring? First ring. Excellent. All right, I'll, I'll catch up with you later yes. at the lovely mill for, right, for, for some more free food, mate. So, Thank you very much. I'll, I'll bring some beers if, bring I, some if beers. I remember. If you remember. So I'll bring some beers. I'll bring some as well, <laughs> mate. I will. I've decided I'm not taking Buster to Lincolnshire because... He's not a big fan of coming out beeping for too long now. He's getting so old, it'd be cruel to drag him out for weekends. So uh, I'll leave him with Emily. And uh, it gives me more time to concentrate on me beeping while I'm out there anyway. God bless him. I don't want to drag him around for two and a half, three days and up and down the motorway and fields and that. He's too old for it all now. All he wants to do when he comes out now is sleep. See what I mean? The little bunter was asleep. He, he's actually recognised where I was this time. I can't be dragging this poor wee doggy up and down fields for whole weekends no more, bless him. Oh, I do love my bunty and I will miss him. I think me and Buster have got a cheeky wee frippany bit. Not much in the way of old coinage today. And this one certainly ain't a bucket lister, but it's an oldish coin anyway. Be from the 1930s, thereabouts. Bucket buster. You know he's really peed off when he just sits in the holes and that. That's my old there, look. That's his way of saying, Dad, I am putting a stop to this bullshit. Take me home immediately. Tell you what we'll do, Buster. It's half past four. Look, look, sat me all, sat me all. It's half past four. I'll slowly beep up to the car and we'll get off. All right, son. We'll see if we can get a big banger for the viewers. We probably won't, but you never know. Yeah. All right, Dad. Whatever you say. I'm, I'm just fed up. I want to go. You can't even film me. Oh, look, he's on the blooming clods. He's got his bum in the hole. Stop it, stop having a go at me, look. Just fill your fucking hole in and let's get off. All right, Bunch, I think that says it all. It's time for a beer, isn't it, mate? Yeah, I'm gagging for a, for a Stella. Well, there you go, viewers. Uh, a short little hunt today. Not very productive. Uh, the last three times out have been a bit quiet, so... Um, it's amazing when people do hit me up and invite me out on good land and that's where I'll be going in the morning to Lincolnshire Friday, Saturday and Sunday hopefully the, the odds will be in our favour a little bit more out there so I'll see you in the morning uh, Luke and Sue I'm going to leave here about 7 o'clock B.O. to yours about half 10-ish uh, but I'll, I'll give you a nod in the morning when I leave. 
As for old Buster, he's just um, he's just uh, feeling his age now. I can't just pick him up and chuck him in the car and take him wherever I want. It's just not working out like that now. Even when I just take him out for a day locally, he spends most of his time sleeping on the field. And he's fast asleep again here now, now we've got in. But that's to be expected. He is an old boy. So I'll go and park him up at Emily's and uh, that'll be it. Don't forget, you can win a Garrett Carrot in my metal detecting group on Facebook. It's called Anglo-Celtic Metal Detecting. It's the group, not one of my pages on Facebook. There's quite a few people entered, so that's cool. Get a nice Garrett Carrot pinpointer out to one of my viewers. Thank you for all uh, joining in on that competition. Uh, it is good. It does help me build my channel. Not the greatest hunt today, but please keep up the likes, the comments, and uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, good news is Charlie, little Charlie up in Liverpool, he's got his coins and he's buzzing. So big up to Charlie Cropper. I hope that gives you a little bit of inspiration to keep up with your beeping, mate. And uh, hopefully I'll get out with you and your dad one day soon. And uh, I'll take your dad up on the offer of that pint. All right, viewers, see what we can do tomorrow, eh?